Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm working at the salon today because I have been working there Tuesdays and Saturdays. My brother was actually in town the last, no, he was here for a full week. He got here last Tuesday. It's weird. It does not feel like he was here for a full week and he just left like an hour ago, but the apartment is now officially done. So later on in this vlog, I will give you guys the apartment tour. Finally, I don't have time to do it right now. And I also, I need to like straighten up a little bit before I show you everything. But I want to kind of rewind a little bit because I do have some footage. Last week, I went to the old apartment. We grabbed my bed frame, which was the last thing I had left over there. And I cleaned up, turned in my keys, and I said goodbye to the old apartment. So let's rewind to that. It's officially empty. So weird. And so dusty. Ugh. But that's it. So weird. Last time in this apartment. Oh. And now I am dog sitting. My friend's dog, that's Benny's best friend. So they have been in play mode since she got here last night. And it might sound scary, but I promise that's just how they play. If you have a pit bull, you know. You know the sounds they make when they're playing. And by the way, I apologize if there's been any confusion with my uploads. I know I had said that I was gonna post every Monday and then the occasional Thursday, but lately, like the last two weeks in a row, I haven't posted on Monday and I just posted on Thursday instead. It's just because my normal schedule got a little bit thrown off and I actually have another friend coming into town this Friday. But I have these next few days where I'm just gonna be home alone. So I am gonna try to pre-record some like sit down stuff and hopefully after this week i can go back to my normal schedule because it's been nice sticking to a schedule and that way you guys know exactly when to expect videos from me but i'm trying to think what else we have to catch up on because it's been a little while i didn't really vlog last week Oh, if you listen to my podcast my friend julia that i do the podcast with she just announced that she's pregnant so that's another thing like with the podcast uploads too we've been kind of inconsistent and now you guys know why but other than that i think that is it you haven't missed out on anything too exciting since the last time i was vlogging but this week i am really excited because the weather's supposed to be really nice i think it's going to be like around 80 degrees later this week and tomorrow night my friend is coming over we are doing a little watch party of the love is blind reunion i cannot wait for that and then like i said my best friend is coming into town on friday and it's so nice having people come stay with me now that i have a bigger apartment and they can have their own room their own bathroom and this coming sunday is saint patrick's day so i'm looking forward to having like a nice warm weekend and going out downtown. But now that we are all caught up, today I have a full day, very excited. We're kind of getting out of that slow salon season finally. Today I have three people, two of them are like big, you know, full color appointments, full highlight haircut, and then the last one is just a haircut and my first client is one of my regulars i've already done her hair like three or four times now but then the other two are new so i'm excited it should be a good day and it's really sunny so i just feel good like i have a lot of energy today i'm just gonna touch up my hair throw a couple quick flat iron waves by the way this is the dyson corral straightener i feel like every time i bust this thing out in a vlog i always get questions like wait is that cordless what is that a little dry shampoo this is the igk charcoal detox my favorite dry shampoo let that sit for a second and then i'm going to put 
the Amiga Undone Volume Texturizing Spray through the ends. Rub in that dry shampoo, fluff out the curls, give it a little zhuzh. There you go. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Here's my outfit for the day. I need to put you guys on to these jeans. When my brother was in town, he wanted to go to H&M. And I saw these jeans, I was like, mm. they look kind of promising, potentially. I have a hard time finding jeans that fit properly and that I actually like the look of. I am obsessed with these. I'll have a link in the description to these exact ones. They are nice and high-waisted, but they don't give me any gapping. Like, they fit my waist perfectly without digging in and being too tight. And then they flare out at the hips, and then it's, like, nice and loose on my legs, so they're really comfortable, and they flare out a little bit, and they're actually a decent length. I mean, they're a little long on me, but I'm 5'2", and I got them in a size 8. So, and normally in jeans, like, if they're stretchy, I'll get a 6. If they don't have stretch, I'll get an 8. But yeah, they are just amazing. I really love them. And I feel like they make me look taller. Because like I said, I'm 5'2". I am short. So yeah, I'm wearing those. And then my John Mayer merch that I tied up to make it cropped. These shoes are from Target. I'm gonna head out now. I will see you at the salon. I'll try to get as many clips as I can of my day. Wish me luck that it all goes smoothly. So this was my first client. I had lasted her hair in November and I was so happy with how it looked when she came in. Considering it had been months since her last appointment, I feel like it just grew out so seamlessly. So it was just time for a touch up. She just wanted a thicker, brighter money piece in the front and really soft blended highlights so i did a full head of tz lights and then of course that like bolder money piece in the front but still kept everything really soft and blended and low maintenance we also did a trim but i just love how natural the color is my second client no showed but luckily my last person was able to come early so she's on her way i'm just sitting outside enjoying the nice warm weather while I wait, but it sucks. Cause I finished my first person early. So I was waiting around for like half an hour. Had I known I could, by this point, I could be like already basically done for the day and heading home, but. And this was my last client. She has very, very thick, heavy hair. So she wanted a bunch of layers to just add some movement. And I feel like this clip doesn't even really do the cut justice, but it looked really beautiful and she was very happy with it. I am home now. My last client was super nice. She had really, really thick, beautiful hair. And now I am starting to prep dinner. I got this marinated chicken breast from Trader Joe's that me and my brother had for dinner last night. We made chicken tacos. It was so good, but I have a bunch of the chicken left over. So I want to make a bowl with it. I peeled and cut up a sweet potato. So I'm going to put that in the air fryer. This is the chicken here. So I'm going to do some rice with the chicken, roasted sweet potatoes. I'm gonna saute some kale and yes, I have black beans. So I'm gonna add that and just make a yummy bowl. And we were able to get a hold of my client that no showed. She, her daughter had booked her appointment for her. So she got the dates mixed up and was confused. She thought her appointment was next week. It is what it is, that stuff happens sometimes. If she was my first client of the day and I had like got up early and got ready and everything to get there and then she didn't show up, I would have been more pissed, but it ended up working out. Here is my dinner. I tried a little bite, it is so good. So simple, delicious, healthy, yum.
Hello, good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Today is my day off. So I've just been getting stuff done around the apartment. Tonight is also the release of the Love is Blind reunion. And I am having, I think two of my friends are coming over. At least one definitely is. But I have just been straightening up because like I mentioned yesterday, I also am having my friend come into town to stay with me on Friday. So I changed the bed sheets. I, I have a bed in here now. The frame and mattress, this was my old bed from like two apartments ago. If you guys have been following me for a long time, if you remember the apartment I had with the blue bathroom, this was my bed that was actually when I first brought Benny home. I didn't end up bringing it down here with me. I did a sponsorship and I got a new mattress when I moved down to North Carolina. So I left it at my parents' house and it's just been sitting there. So my mom was like, now that you have the extra bedroom, do you wanna take this bed back? Cause it's just kinda, we're not using it. It's just taking up space. So I have a real bed in here, which will be nice. I still have the air mattress. So if I have multiple people, I have that as an option, but it'll be so nice to actually have a real bed for people. And I was gonna put his crate, like fold it up and put it in a closet, but he really enjoys going in there. Like he will just go by himself throughout the day and just go chill out. So I feel like I need to just leave that for him. So yeah, this room is all clean and ready for Kayla when she comes on Friday. And I have a load of laundry in the washing machine currently. Once that's done, I'm gonna wash my bed sheets. I think this to myself literally every single day, but I don't think that I vocalize it enough in my videos. I just have to say how grateful I am to have the life that I have. Because I remember shortly after graduating college, working a nine to five, feeling so unfulfilled and waking up every morning, just so unhappy, dreading going to work, feeling like I had no free time. And I know a lot of people can relate to that, especially if you work a traditional nine to five, it's like Monday through Friday, you get up early, you go to work, by the time you come home, it's like you make dinner, you get ready for bed, and that's basically it. And then the weekend is so short, and it's like you try to get everything done that you didn't have time for during the week, like running errands and meal prepping and grocery shopping and all that stuff. And then also try to have a social life. And then also try to like recharge and just have that time to like lay around and do nothing. And at the time when my life was like that, I was just miserable and I would think to myself, I can't do this for the rest of my life or for the next like 40 plus years. And I know for some people like my friend that I do my podcast with, she works a nine to five job and she actually really likes the stability of it. She likes having a set salary. She likes getting paid time off and all the benefits and having good health insurance and all that kind of stuff. So it's interesting how we view things like that so the opposite. I just always knew that I wanted and needed freedom. Like I wanted financial freedom and I wanted the type of career where I didn't have to work five days a week and I could kind of like make my schedule and work when I wanted to and have the time to actually live life and enjoy life throughout the week. And like today, it is so beautiful out. This is probably the hottest day that we've had so far this year. And in a little while, as soon as I'm done cleaning the kitchen, I am gonna go outside and I am gonna go sit by the pool and I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine. And if I was working, a regular nine to five, I couldn't do that on a regular Wednesday afternoon. And like knowing that my friend is coming into town, I wanna be able to enjoy my visit with her. I don't wanna have to be worrying about working. So I'm just gonna do what I need to do before she gets here. That way I'm done. Like my work for the week will be done. 
and I don't have to work. I can just hang out with her. You know, it's like I'm proud of myself because I know that I am the one that put the work in. It's not like this is something that was ever handed to me. No one is helping me financially. I pay all of my own bills. I take care of myself fully. And this wouldn't be possible, like I wouldn't be where I'm at right now in my life and with my career if it wasn't for the work that I put in and the effort that I put in. So like I am proud of myself and I do need to give myself credit for that as well. But I also am so thankful to all of you who watch me and especially those who have been there for years. You are a huge part of the equation, obviously. So I just want to say thank you and just take a moment of gratitude because I feel like I try to always like stay really grounded and humble. And I think I downplay things a lot, but it's nice to stop and just think like, holy shit, years ago, this was a dream. Like this is what I always wanted for myself. Not many people can say that they not only do what they love, and as someone that has like so many different passions, being able to bring it all together and make a career out of all of my passions and also work the schedule that I've always wanted to work, have the flexibility, I know that that's rare. I don't have like entrepreneurs in my family. I didn't know anyone in my personal life that had a lifestyle like this where they made a full-time income working like very part-time hours so it wasn't something that felt within reach for me but I just hope that that goes to show if you are also in a similar position where you're just not happy with where you're at in life right now whether it's like with your career with your living situation your relationships like whatever it is nothing is out of reach or impossible for you like if you really want something you can make it happen for yourself obviously within reason there's like nuances to that but for the most part i don't know don't just like sell yourself short and just be like oh well you know that person can do that but i could never like why not but I just wanted to share that because I was taking Benny out for a walk before I started recording and I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful out. I think I'm gonna go lay by the pool. And then that thought came into my mind of like, this is so crazy. Like, it's so cool that this is my life and that I can do that. But I am very, very grateful. And I hope that that is always apparent, even if I'm not actually verbalizing it. Baseball, cap, sunglasses. I also need sunscreen, my AirPods, a towel, and we're gonna do some more lemon water. Okay, let's go to the pool. Good morning but it's 12 o'clock <laughs> i got a late start to my day i slept in a little bit because i was up pretty late last night by the way that reunion comment down below and let me know if you watched it and what were your thoughts i thought it was good in like the very beginning i loved the part when they called out trevor like the awkward rawness the way that they left in just the awkward silence <laughs> i like that made for some good 
TV. I feel like Jeremy and Sarah Ann got unfair treatment in my opinion. Like I get what people are saying like, oh, the way they went about things was like disrespectful. Totally get that. But they're acting as if Jeremy and Laura were together for years and were in like actually engaged for real. And like I know people on the show, they do, some of them end up, you know, really like being married for real. It's like a lot of them are starting families now and stuff. And that's great, but let's be real. These people had just met each other like two weeks prior. They don't actually know each other. And you can sit isolated, divided by a wall, talking all you want. You don't actually know a person until you actually are spending time around them face to face. You meet their friends and family. You get to see how they interact in the real world, how they handle their finances how they keep their home, how they treat other people. Like you can know someone's like deepest, darkest secrets, but I don't think that means you know the person, you know, like that's just how I feel. So it's like, come on. Yeah, they could have handled it differently, but essentially they were strangers to each other. And he obviously had feelings for the other girl and wanted to explore that. And they're together now and have been together far longer than he was with the other girl or knew the other girl you know so and they completely ignored how laura treated him she treated him like dog shit like she was very rude and disrespectful to him and the way she would talk about him behind his back to other people and her family i don't know i feel like you have to give respect in order to get respect and she was treating him like shit and then acted shocked when he wasn't being like super considerate to her feelings i don't it's like come on and the fact that there was like no accountability for her and her behavior was annoying and i hated how they had like the og cast members like people from previous seasons there like do another like after the altar episode then if you want to show updates on like where they're at. i think that's great it's really sweet that some of the couples are still together and a lot of them are like expecting babies wonderful do a different show for that like this is the season six reunion why are we talking about people from season one or if you're going to do that make the episode a lot longer like it took away i feel like there were a lot of unanswered questions and like chelsea and jimmy were like the main characters of this season and they barely got any time to speak they didn't even like scratch the surface on everything that went on with them and they didn't even ask them if they were together or like where their relationship stood at this point and like jess got way more airtime than i feel like she needed anyway those are my thoughts on the reunion sorry if you haven't been keeping up with this season or you know don't watch the show and you don't care i am making myself a late breakfast some trader joe's protein pancakes and then i have this chicken sausage and have a couple links on the side anyway i'm gonna make this and eat that i'm gonna change and get ready for the day i need to edit this vlog actually but it's another really really beautiful day out so i'm gonna take my laptop over to the pool area and i'm gonna sit outside while i edit and maybe lay out a little bit more try to get a little more color i don't know if you can tell i had very faint tan lines from yesterday but the UV index wasn't super high. Okay, it's a little while later. I finished eating. I was doing a little editing, but now I want to go sit outside. And I need to wrap up this vlog. So finally, it is time for the apartment tour. This is going to be like the unofficial tour. I will probably do a separate video sometime in the future once it's like really 100% finished. And it's not like perfectly clean and staged. Like this is some real life. Like I have some dirty dishes I need to put in the dishwasher. I have laundry that's kind of overflowing a little bit, but that's just real life. So in true Sam form, here is my apartment tour. Okay, so if you have not watched any of my previous moving vlogs, didn't see the empty apartment tour, this is where you first walk in. I will try to link everything that I can. Some stuff is old and might not be available. Some things are from places like Home Goods where I can't link it. I have this mirror and this key hook. When you first walk in, mirror is Target, key hook is Amazon. 
then to the left is let me turn the light on this coat closet which i just have my vacuum and all my cleaning stuff in here extra like toilet paper and paper towels tissues things like that up there i love this to hold your broom and mop and stuff like that it just is such a space saver it keeps it off the floor everything is nice and flush and it has these hooks that you can pull down so you can hang stuff on it as well this cart just has like some more little cleaning things my steamer and all the extra attachments are in that basket the basket is from target oh this i had found at home goods to hold extra grocery bags so i can reuse those for trash bags love that then the next closet over here is the pantry over to the right is the kitchen my recycles dishes i told you i'm just keeping it real but i love this kitchen so much it is so so spacious i know some people were saying that they don't like the way this looks with the photos and all the magnets and that it's like very busy and cluttered and that is fair i don't know if i will keep it like that forever but i kind of like it like i like having all of my memories right there and it's fun because when i have had friends over they all look and it, it's like fun to find, you know, pictures of yourself on here. And I just feel like everything in the apartment is like so nicely decorated and kind of staged. So it's nice to bring like that human aspect, like a real person actually lives here. I think it's fun. I think it's fine to have like one little area that just looks like messy. That is the kitchen. Then over here... I have this built-in desk, so I turned this into a coffee bar because I am a big coffee fanatic. I have all of these different coffee machines, and I knew I wasn't going to use this area as a desk, so this just felt perfect. I keep my dog stuff under there, and then I have a cappuccino machine, a regular coffee maker, my Nespresso machine. These shelves are from Amazon, as are those mason jars my nespresso pods are in that jar from ikea and my milk frother and the frother jug both from amazon that espresso maker is from world market and this faux plant is from ikea but i love this area so much moving on to the main living space this table i found at home goods and it just looks so cute i have my amazon Echo. This faux pompous grass is from TJ Maxx. That lamp is from Home Goods. This wooden tray is from Amazon. And that candle I got. Oh, see, look, I literally just dusted this yesterday and there's dog hair on it already. <laughs> but that candle I got, it was like from a local girl when I lived in Pennsylvania. And then this mirror, this is actually new since the last vlog. My brother helped me put this up. That is from Amazon. So that's how that corner looks and my robot vacuum is under there. I tried my best to kind of like tuck and hide the cords a little bit. So I don't know. I might maybe like get like two baskets or something to put under there that'll kind of fill and block that area a little bit more. I'm not really sure. But to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much. I don't really notice it. And then over here, this table, I know some people were saying that it was a little cluttered because originally before I had the couch and everything set up I just had the table like pulled over to the corner more but now the way that it is to me it doesn't feel or look cluttered in person and in fact I feel like if this corner was empty that would look weird I like the flow here and I love how it all looks I think everything like ties in really well together but this table I got online from Bed Bath & Beyond and it does kind of blend in with the floor a little bit and I know some people were suggesting getting a rug to put under it to kind of break it up 
I might do that in the future, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. For now, I'm just gonna leave it. These chairs are from an online company called Ernest. They did give me a discount code, so I'll put that in the description with the link for you guys. I really love these chairs a lot. I love the look of them, and they're super comfortable. This is where I've actually been sitting when I do my editing. And then this faux olive tree arrangement is from Target. Moving on to the living room. My bar cart is over here. That is from Amazon. This chair is from Target. So is the blanket on top of it. This rug is from Amazon. Coffee table is Ikea. I just got this tray the other day from Home Goods. My couch is from Ashley Furniture. Side table is from Amazon. The dresser that I have my TV on is from Ikea. And I still am trying to figure out like what I want to do as far as decorating on top of here. But I like how that looks for right now. That vase is from at home. And then those faux florals are from Target, I believe. And over here, this basket is from Amazon. I have extra throw blankets in there. And then I normally have my plants all in this corner, but they are outside getting some sun. They weren't doing too hot. Uh, this winter was rough for them. So I'm hoping the humidity and the sunlight outside will help revive them. Then I have this bookcase from ikea this is basically the same way i had it decorated in the old place i have a little propagation thing that normally goes on that shelf but that is outside right now too that lamp is from ikea and i have that frame from target up there this is the photo that came with the frame it's not staying like that i actually ordered a print that is supposed to come later today to go in there but that is how it looks from this corner. Oh, and these curtains are from Amazon, the rods and the curtains themselves. And I love these. If you're looking for good quality light canceling, like they truly block the light out fully in here. I love these. Highly, highly recommend they were very affordable and then out on the balcony here i need to clean these cushions they are really gross but these chairs are from home depot i've had them for a long time this outdoor rug is from amazon and like i said my plants are all just sitting out here for now if you have any tips on how to bring these back to life this one is is doing pretty good but <laughs> this <laughs> Uh, yeah, not great. This one, not too hot. So let me, let me know all of your tips. I also have a closet out here and it is filled up. So this I also need to work on organizing in the future. I want to get like a shelving unit because it's very tall in here. So I want to like utilize the height a little bit better. That way it will feel less cluttered. Yeah, this is just like all my extra stuff, Christmas decor, beach stuff, etc. And then over here, these hooks are from Amazon. Through here is the guest bedroom. He's taking a little nap. This room I still need to work on because I want to put a desk. Actually, I have an old desk here. I just need to get another set of legs for it. I would like to eventually get curtains for this room and put stuff on the walls, like just make it feel a little more finished. But for now, this works. This is the old rug that I had in my living room at the old place. That is from Amazon. The bedspread is Ikea. So is the dresser. And then in this closet, I love having this extra closet. It's a mess in here. This is another area that I need to kind of work on eventually organizing a little bit better, I guess. Out here in the hallway, I have a linen closet. Those bins are from the Dollar Tree. So I have my hair stuff, like hair color and all of my 
tools for that. And then down there is like some extra stuff, like extra hand soaps, extra candles, extra cords and chargers. This runner is from Walmart. Then in the guest bathroom, I love how like bright and airy it is in here. I have a real snake plant. This tray from Target. The acrylic jar is from Amazon. I love all the storage in here. So I was able to put all of my extra stuff because this is like the getting ready bathroom. So all of my extra overflow of makeup and I know it's a lot like I have a lot of shit but you have to keep in mind what I do for a job. So of course I'm gonna have a lot of beauty products, stuff that I just like to test out for myself, but then also I get sent a lot of PR too, so yeah. Um, this is my hair tools drawer, which looks crazy and messy, but it, it actually is organized, I swear. And then down here is more hair stuff. This basket is from Home Goods. Um, I'm using that as a hamper and then that stool is from Ikea. I didn't really know where to put it And then I realized it would be kind of nice in here because whenever I'm taking a bath or if someone's in here Like changing or whatever like I don't know. It's just kind of nice up here this basket I have like some feminine products in there This I believe is from Walmart that photo goes with the one that's in the guest bedroom from Target shower is kind of empty, but Fresh eucalyptus, always. I love having that in the bathroom. It smells so good. And I just have my old shower curtain from Target, plain, like, waffle knit. Over here is just the hot water heater, but it connects over to where the washer dryer is. So I stuck this cart, which fits perfectly right there. That is from Amazon, so I just have, like, some extra laundry products on there. So, yeah, the washer dryer is over here so i got my products up there and i love having this shelf because if i have stuff that needs to hang dry i can just hang it right there and it just oh it just makes doing laundry so much more convenient if you remember my old apartment i had the washer dryer in the bathroom and it was like so crammed and this is so nice to just have all this open space when i'm doing laundry and you can see i can just grab all the products from the side here so yeah and then there was no light in this room and I felt like it needed a light so I got this one from Walmart and I love how the washer dryer is right next to the master bedroom so here mm, the, ignore uh, those wires normally I tuck it behind the mirror but like I said this is a real life tour this full-length mirror is from Ikea I love though like taking outfit pictures like the background and the lighting like everything it's just beautiful chef's kiss love it finally got my bed frame oh it feels so good to like have the bedroom be finished <laughs> um but those two nightstands are from Amazon I love them gorgeous the lamps I have one on each side those are from Target. Bed frame is from Walmart. I actually made my bed for you guys. That photo above the bed, the frame is from Target. It's basically like the same as in the living room. The frame is Target. The print I got from Etsy. I have Benny's dog bed over here. This rug is from Amazon. So that's how it looks from this corner. Those are the same curtains that I have in the living room. I absolutely love this alarm clock because you can do all these different colors so I always turn this on at night and it just makes the room so cozy and vibey and then when the alarm goes off in the morning it like simulates sunlight so it just gradually gets brighter and then you can choose different like nature sounds for it game changer it's kind of like the nest alarm clock but way cheaper it was like thirty dollars and then yeah see i told you the clothes overflowing <laughs> there is a uh laundry basket under there this dresser is from walmart i love this it is such good quality it was so easy and fast to put together like you literally just snap the pieces together you can't 
have more than one drawer open at a time so you don't have to worry about it tipping over above here that's not usually there but this tray is from home goods got all my perfumes that vase is from at home and i stuck a little eucalyptus in there this is where i keep all my sunglasses these drawers are from muji and then i have this craft organizer that i keep all of my jewelry in and this mirror is from walmart oh and i almost forgot this tree faux olive tree is from amazon and then the basket that it's in is from target and then the closet i love this closet so much it's just so aesthetically pleasing to me and it has made getting ready so much easier because i feel like all of my clothes are out and i can see everything these hooks are from world market so i have my belts my hats purses more hats over here i hung up all of my pants and skirts on these baby hangers so they sit more flush i have my shorts folded up there this dresser fits so perfectly in here it is from amazon and this is where i just keep like bras underwear socks bathing suits I have my jeans all folded up there, sweatpants, these baskets. That has winter accessories like scarves and stuff. That has extra purses. And then down here I have my shoe racks with all my shoes. And then I also have this hanging shoe rack from Target behind the door. And then also in the master suite is the bathroom, which this shower I can't even tell you like I love this bathroom so much it is so cozy and I am obsessed with the shower like having it's just it's huge the ceilings are so high I love the glass it just feels so open again the eucalyptus the shower caddy is from Target this artwork is from Walmart it was really inexpensive I'm very good find then I have another one of those shelves that I have at the coffee bar it all came together in a set of four this basket is from target has you know feminine products and i love having windows in the bathrooms too like that is such a game changer this is from amazon and again so are these acrylic jars and yeah i just keep like my everyday skincare type stuff up there this tray i think is from i don't know i want to say urban outfitters maybe i've had it forever but I will just, you know, like if I'm washing my face, getting the shower, whatever, like my jewelry, hair ties. It's like a nice little catch-all tray. And then there's storage in here. So I have like my teeth stuff in there, skincare stuff down here, hair stuff in here. And then under here is super organized. I love these organizer bins from the dollar tree i'll keep you guys updated of course with the guest room slash office as i start making changes to that but i love this apartment so much my dog loves it like it's so nice to just have more space i am just very grateful that i'm able to live here and it's just been such a nice upgrade compared to the last place so yeah that is my apartment like i said once it's like fully done probably in like another few months i will give you guys like a separate video let me know what you guys want to see in future vlogs but i am gonna wrap this up here i'm gonna go sit outside and edit it and hopefully i should be able to go back to my normal uploading schedule every monday with the occasional thursday from now on so Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.